I'm Carol Flake Chapman, and this is my friend, the amazing artist, Judy Jensen, who uh, has an incredible talent for reverse painting on glass, which is a very old uh, technique, but very few people do it. It's very fragile, uh, very difficult to do. And here she's working on a piece that is uh, for a temple in Thailand, where she, um, went years and years ago and saw that the paintings there, um, 19th century paintings um, of the life of Buddha, had been cracked and badly damaged by the earthquake. And so she became inspired, thinking that maybe she could help to restore these paintings. And now, um, Judy, why don't you tell us a little bit about reverse painting on glass, and in particular, these paintings that you did for the temple? Sure. Well, I've been doing reverse painting on glass for, oh, I would say 30 some odd years now. And there are not a lot of us who do this. It's glass that, as you can see, it's painted on the back side of the glass. The outline in this painting, the outlines were done first, and then the foreground, and then the background. And when it's completed, it's flipped over and you see the painting from the front, which is why it's called reverse painting. So when I visited Hua Chong Klong for the first time, I was really struck by the beauty and boldness of these incredible Burmese paintings. And when I returned and saw the damage, it just stuck in my mind that I could do something about this and that Probably there were not a lot of other people around that could, but it took about seven years for me to finally decide to go there and offer my services to the temple. And at that point, there was nothing else that I really wanted to do besides this project. And it did take a while for this to happen. I went through a Thai minister first, and then I finally, a Thai friend of mine said, you know, let's just leave the government out of this let's just go directly to the temple's abbot and ask him because the temple has absolute authority over whatever takes place in the temple. And he was excited by the idea. He accepted my offer immediately and started pointing out paintings that he wanted me to replace. And I've been working on it ever since. That was in 2011 when I first made my offer. I started working on them in, I uh, went back, spoke to the abbot in 2012. In 2013, I started working on them and I've been working on paintings for the temple ever since. And um, Judy um, um, invited several of her friends to join her on a trip uh, to Thailand uh, to see the wonders of Thailand, but particularly to go to see the Wa Chong Klang uh, paintings that she had restored. and. Uh, it was one of the most meaningful experiences of my life, and I know it was for Judy. Oh, it was, inc it was incredible for me because most of the people on this trip had been supporters of my project, and that meant so much to me in itself, but to have them actually there with me in Thailand, looking at the work that I'd done and seeing the beautiful temple and the work in the temple, I just cannot even describe what a wonderful experience that was for me.